Brain injuries can be caused uh, by a lot of different things. Um, they can be caused by near drownings in a pool. They can be caused by traumatic blows to the head. Uh, they can be caused by oxygen deprivation to the brain during the birth process or resuscitative process. Um, they can even be caused by electrocution um, if there's not a uh, adequate uh, effort to resuscitate the person in the aftermath of the uh, electric shock. So um, brain injuries are among the saddest cases um, because particularly in the birth process cases um, you have a baby and the baby is not ever going to be normal and they end up with not just a brain injury but what's called spastic quadriplegia um, or cerebral palsy and um, it affects the whole body. The, the brain is is like the conductor of your body. I mean, you know, if there's no conductor, you've got major problems. And uh, so they're very special cases. And there are special physicians that deal with those cases in terms of planning a, a uh, what's called a life care plan. What care will this person need for the rest of their lives? Um, how long are they going to live? Um, you know, the insurance companies like to always come in and brain injury cases and say, well, the person isn't, you know, going to live more than 10 more years and not going to live a normal life expectancy, you know. And uh, uh, I had a case one time where I had, you know, uh, somebody, one of the defense experts say that, and he had said that earlier in another case, and I had my client come in in the other case at the back of the courtroom and say, didn't you say that in so-and-so's case? And isn't he right here in the courtroom 20 years later? And you said he was only going to live 10 years. So um, there, you know, lots of ways to handle that. 